everyone to the 31st meeting in 2018 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Agenda uh, item one uh, is to propose that the committee takes item three in private. This is consideration of delegated powers provisions in the Census Amendment Scotland Bill. Does the committee agree to take this item in private? Agreed. Okay. Agenda item two. Excuse me. Apologies um, from Neil Findlay and Alison Harris. Um, agenda item two uh, is consideration of an instrument subject to negative procedure. We've got the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Amendment Number no. Three Regulations 2018. These regulations make further amendments to the Council Tax Reduction Regulations 2012 and the Council Tax Reduction State Pension Credit Scotland Regulations. 2012, which are the principal regulations. There are two issues for the committee to address. The first issue is a drafting error relating to the definition of, quote, an error on a point of law. Contained within regulation 4A of the instrument, the error has been acknowledged by the Scottish Government. So does the committee wish to draw the regulations to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground I as there appears to be defective drafting within Regulation 4A. Okay. And secondly, does the committee wish to recommend that if the Scottish Government assesses that this drafting error could have some unintended effects, it may be preferable to bring forward an amendment to correct the error promptly, given that the provisions will come into force uh, on the 28th of November? Okay. The second issue relates to the question of whether the regulations raise a devolution issue, as they may relate to matters which are reserved by Section F1 of Part 2 of Schedule 5 to the Scotland Act 1998, which concerns social security schemes. Uh, this, uh, as the committee knows, uh, has been considered by us each time the council tax reduction regulations are amended. And this is the 15th such amendment of the principal regulations. For the five amendments considered this session, the committee has agreed on division to report that the regulations raise a devolution issue. The committee recognises that the Scottish Government takes a contrary view. Since September 2016, a new exception 10 to the Social Security Reservation has given the Parliament powers to create new benefit schemes in areas of devolved responsibility where the requirements of the exception are satisfied, including that the new scheme must be funded from the Scottish Consolidated Fund. The committee suggested to the Scottish Government when reporting on SSI 2017-41 that framing a new scheme in consolidating regulations could remove the committee's concern were that scheme to comply with the requirements of, of exception 10. The Scottish Government has indicated today that it has no plans to undertake a consolidation. It seems therefore unlikely that the difference of view on the devolution issue will be resolved in the immediate future. Um, so do members have any comments on that? No? Okay. So as the committee's position on the devolution issue um, and its possible resolution is clearly stated in its previous reports, does the committee consider that it's not necessary to repeat that view again uh, and for this to be explained in the report on this instrument. Okay. And does the committee wish to continue to encourage the Scottish Government to undertake a consolidation of the principal regulations within a reasonable timescale in the interests of clarity and accessibility? Okay. I'll move the meeting into private.